Howdy, my name is Anne McCarthy. I'm a developer relations wrangler at Automatic, and this is a video about different types of themes in a full site editing world. Let's dive in. We'll start by going over at a high level the different types of themes, what's most common, brief demos of each, and what's to come. What are the different types of themes? At a high level, these are the different types of themes floating around in the world, WordPress world today. So to start, there's a classic theme, block themes, hybrid themes, and universal themes. So to break this down a bit, classic themes are built with PHP templates, functions.php, and more. They're basically built the way we've been used to. Block themes, on the other hand, are themes made for full site editing using HTML templates, template parts, and theme JSON. And they basically allow you to manage all parts of your site with blocks. Hybrid themes are a classic theme that adopts a feature of full siting like theme JSON or adding support for the template editor. Universal themes work with both the customizer and the site editor. So which are the most common? So you might hear about a lot of these different types of themes, but you might be wondering how, what am I most likely to run into? What do I need to use? What do I need to be aware of? So of note, this is a personal opinion with some very loose data pulled from the theme directory and the WP directory.net site. Um, and also just my own lived experience of living in a full site editing world and talking to lots of people. So to start, classic themes still dominate the space. Considering this has been the way to build themes for over 15 years, this is not surprising, but it's worth still noting. Currently, there are 53 block themes with a goal of 500 by the end of the year. So they're on the rise. Hybrid themes are trickier to track but are quite limited from what I can tell in the public sphere. Thus far, I've mainly seen folks create hybrid themes, particular client situations where they might want to open up access to the template editor or take advantage of using theme JSON to handle settings and styles, but I'm not seeing a ton of themes adopt hybrid functionality right now. Universal themes are quite similar with only a few in place, including block base, quadrat, skate park, and geologist. Those all come from automatic and you can find out more at blockbasetheme.com where there's information about how you can quickly create child themes of block based to have your own universal theme. I'll include a link below in case you want to learn more. It's a prime way to bridge the experience though, but most often I'm seeing those in very specific use cases. So what do I predict for the future? So if I had to make a guess, this is what I anticipate will happen in the next year or two. So I expect classic themes to continue to have a place and to move towards hybrid functionality. I expect block themes to increase and gain even more functionality, which I'll expand upon in a second. And then I expect folks to explore hybrid and universal themes mainly for clients or themselves or to act as a bridge for a larger user base, especially in a more enterprise setting. So before going further, I wanted to add some important context about block themes. So block themes are increasingly getting functionality that allows you to have almost the feel of multiple themes in one, thanks to the ability to offer different style presets, better integration with patterns and more. Work is also being done to make it easier to mix and match across block themes. So, for example, imagine a future where you want to use templates from one theme, patterns from another, and styles from yet another. This work is being done. As a result, I do expect to see a rise in block themes, but I'm keen to see how, along with this rise, there is an exponential increase in what can be created with a smaller set of overall themes. I'm going to leave some links in the description on this topic in case anyone wants to learn more, but it felt important to set the stage before jumping into the demos of each different type of theme. So to start, I'm gonna go through the classic theme, then I'm gonna go through a block theme, then I'm gonna go through using a classic theme with the template editor, which is one of the full siting features. And finally, I'm gonna end on going through a universal theme that uses the customizer and the site editor. So first up, we're gonna check out a classic 2020 theme. This is all gonna be familiar to you if you've been using WordPress up until this point, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time, but typically you're gonna be used to using the customizer, you can pop in and change things like the site identity. So I can say YouTube video and say just another video. I can also change things like the widgets here, what menu is shown, additional CSS, a cover template. There's different theme options. I can say, you know, don't show author bio. I can remove the search functionality in the header and go back and hit publish. From there, whenever I exit, I have my familiar things like widgets um, where I can actually edit specific widget areas. In this case, I'm using the block based widget editor. Um, this is part of bringing blocks to more places. You'll also see menus, um, which is where you can add in different items. Let's say I want to add partner here, can add it, drag it around, 
um, ensure it's all placed where I want it to, hit save. So that's a classic theme. You have the customizer, you have widgets, you have menus, and then you have a usual post and pages where you write content. And if you're trying to edit anything in the theme, those options are typically found in the customizer, the widgets, or the menu. But beyond that, you'd have to actually get into edit the theme itself to add different additional functionality or add different plugins. So at this point, let's check out a block theme. So we're going to check out the 2022 theme, which is the first ever default block theme. Um, you'll notice at a glance, compared to a classic theme, under appearance, you just see editor because everything from menus and widgets to everything in the customizer is now all integrated into the site editor. So I'm not going to go in depth here. I will link to another video below if you would like to see more on how to use full site editing. But for now, kind of in the same way that we had the list of menu items um, under appearance menus, you'll notice that I can actually edit this directly. So let's say I want to remove the test block right there. I'll go in and click edit because you'll notice that this actually imported the previous menus. And so as a result, I just have to convert them to blocks. From there, I can delete as I like using the block toolbar. So remove custom link and do the same thing here. I can also do some neat things like editing the menu visually. So maybe I want to have a responsive menu. So it always shows as being responsive. That looks pretty neat. I can also go in and edit everything from the header and footer. So I could say proudly and bold that. I can go here and change the site title around. Maybe make it a bit larger. I could change the default appearance to be a bit heavier. Could also maybe make it all uppercase, all lowercase, all that fun stuff. But instead of editing parts of your site across different things like the customizer, um, widgets, and menus, you can do it all here. And a lot of the customizer functionality is now in this new thing called styles, which helps you set styles for your entire site um, all at a glance, which is pretty neat. So you can see all these different things. Maybe I want to have um, for different color palettes. This sets what the default options are for different blocks. I can create my own. I can do a bright red. I can call this bright red and save it. Then this will show up um, anywhere I'm actually creating a new block, which is pretty neat. I can also set things um, across the theme. So if I want the whole background to look like this, I can do so there. I can also set the text and the links and more. So I can dig into each individual block as well, which is very exciting. So I can customize things by liking across the entire site. So it's just a taste. I'm not gonna go into great detail because as I mentioned, I have other videos if you'd like to check that out. But as you can see, it takes the experience from a classic theme of being split across different interfaces and has it all in one in the site editor, which then goes even further into templates and template parts, but for now, this is just showing you the visual experience of editing all of your site in one place. Now let's look at a hybrid demo. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to hack it together as if I were preparing something for a client. So in this case, I'm using the Excel theme from Anders Norin. I took code from the template editor, introducing the template editor post, and I just added it in here. So that's all I'm adding in to include support for block templates. Um, you can also use remove theme support if you're using a theme that has support for this and you don't want it to be to be there. Um, so in this case, once I add this in, then when I go to post add new, I will then see this fun new option for creating a new block template. So what it allows you to do by adding support for this to a classic theme is to create new templates using blocks. It does not allow you to edit current ones because the current ones are made with PHP but it does allow you to create new ones. In this case, I'm gonna call this my custom template and I'll hit create. From there, you'll see it's pretty empty and I can add in things as I'd like. So I could add in patterns or maybe I wanna add in something like this. So from there, whenever I'm ready to go, this creates a brand new template that I can then save and publish. So from there, once I've made my custom template and I go back, I'm actually able to select it from the different options. The default is the usual one. You'll notice I can't edit it, but my custom template, I can go ahead and edit and reuse across other poster pages. It's a pretty neat way to adopt a full sighting feature without opening the doors to the entire site editor and style system. I definitely recommend it for folks who might have a use case for creating templates where they, they wanna have their own, let's say they wanna remove the post title from something, you could easily create a custom template 
that doesn't show the post title, or let's say you want the post title to be bigger, or you want to have a poster page that has a different background color. All these sorts of things are great use cases for uh, the template editor. My personal favorite is to create landing pages um, using a custom template. I find that that definitely does a trick for me. Finally, we're going to look at Quadrat, which is currently active on this site. This is a universal theme, so it allows you to use the customizer and the editors. So you'll see both of these here along with menus. So let's hit customize. And you'll notice that certain options are available um, in the customized section, but not all of them. So the usual ones you're, you're probably used to, like site identity, I can change here. So we call this YouTube videos. Uh, I can also change around different menus if I really want to set up different menus here. There's also options to set different colors. So maybe I want the background to shift, maybe have it look like that. I can then hit publish. So there's some high level options here that allow you to adjust things that you'd like, including different fonts. On top of that, you'll also see the editor. So same as before with block themes, you'll also have the ability to edit directly um, your site. So for example, one of my favorite features, let's say I want to have a duo tone on this to have it match that blue background, I can add that in really easy, easily. And then maybe let's say I want this to be a bit smaller. We'll put it like that. Boom. I now have my site set up as I'd like using both the customizer and the site editor. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So you can use the customizer as you're used to, to change things around that maybe aren't currently possible, like different fonts. But then you can also go a step further and use some of the cool features that full site editing allows, like Duotone. So now that you've seen each of the demos, let's talk about what's to come. So hopefully this won't come as a surprise since much of this I have discussed throughout the video. At a high level though, expect to see more functionality for block themes, including easier pattern integration, more control over settings with theme JSON to better curate the experience, turning things on and off, adding color palettes and more as well as tools to make it easier to export a block theme, which has a cascading impact on making it easier to build them to begin with. I also would expect more ways to adopt aspects of full siting gradually, like being able to only allow access to template parts, like a header or footer, rather than full templates, additional theme blocks, and more. Improvements to the theme directory to reflect the world of block themes and their patterns, styles, templates, and more. I could also see it becoming easier to find hybrid themes based on searching for specific functionality. Finally, more refinements for switching between themes, both in terms of switching from a classic theme to a block theme, and in terms of switching between block themes like we discussed earlier, including things like being able to keep different templates across themes or different styles. And more, this is just a taste of what's to come. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay connected to me, I'm at Anzazu and we're Basaric Slack, where you can find me at nomad.blog. I have a contact form there and I look forward to hearing from you. I hope this helps you feel prepared for the future of themes and WordPress.